Travel like the narco, narco. Got dope like Pablo. Pablo. Cut dope like Pablo. Cut dope. Chop trees with the Draco. Draco. On the north got Diego. Diego. Say I still a wiggle. No way. We'll be in rapping kilo. Yeah. Snub nose with potato. Take, take out. No monkey in the double block. Like a sauna. Bouncing off and I'm trying to weep an anaconda. Jumping in the water trying to sleep across the water. Got see cars out. Got me be by Verona. Out. Bag it. Bag of money. Knew I gotta have it. Savage. Put on to the gym. I'm in the Cali. Atlantic. Nigga turn him in about the cabbage. Uh. Kill his whole family. I watch y'all, I don't know if you're tough Y'all yeah, chain so I know my saw legs off They know that we're a gang, but they say that we're a ring That's a game, taking pictures of the whole team I'm yeah. a couple trying to do a sting Till the middle on the bike, going straight to the middle team Trapper like the narco, narco Got dope like Pablo, Pablo. Cut dope like Pablo, cut dope Chop trees with the Draco, Draco On the north got Diego, Diego. Say I still a wiggle, no way We'll be in rapping kilo, yeah. snub nose with potato I'm like, Santa gonna bring me me. Girl, Santa is not real. <laughs> like I told AJ, they gonna call my mama and tell her that I told everybody Santa wasn't real. <laughs> well, he not. I'm not lying. <laughs> That's silly, right? Why call home for something so stupid? My yeah. mom's not. I told you not to tell everybody because everybody is supposed to be able to believe what they want to believe. I don't give up. Keisha? What's up, y'all? Welcome back to our channel. I'm AJ. This is Danny, and we are hashtag. 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 hashtag the cannons. C C T V. Alright crew members, welcome back to our eating show. Yeah. Alright, today guys, we're back with another mukbang, guys. And today, y'all voted in the poll. Y'all voted in the poll. What we eating, baby? Y'all, we have some homemade chipotle. So, we got the cilantro lime rice underneath. We got adobo chicken, mm -hmm. steak, guacamole, crema, lettuce, corn pico, pico, just the oh. regular pico. And then in the front, we have salsa, queso, homemade guacamole by my lovely husband. And we got some little, yeah. little chips back here to enjoy. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you for that yes. lovely description, y'all. Like she said, everything here is homemade, just about. I mm -hmm. don't think I'm on anything. So yeah, made the guacamole, the salsa, everything, try to make it restaurant style so it's nice and smooth. Uh, I didn't make the chips, I was gonna make the chips, but long story short, it, it just got, didn't work out because but yeah, so um, y'all, that's that's pretty much it. If you haven't uh already, please, please, please be sure to subscribe to this channel. Remember, guys, hashtag grow, baby, grow. Make sure you turn on that notification bell so you're notified every time the cannons drops on the heat. Hey, hey. Guys, I'm gonna give this video a thumbs up. Like this video, like it. All right, y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and pray so we can get this food. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we ask that you bless this food. Let it be nourished to our bodies. Bless those who are less fortunate. All these things we ask in your son Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Yeah, hold on real quick. An eternity later. Okay. So, yeah, y'all. These are giant bowls. This is really big. Um, uh, um, yeah. So. I made roasted corn pico. Like, I like the one at Moe's. But this is like mm -hmm. copycat of the Chick Fil A recipe. I air fried the corn first. Okay. Mm -hmm. Fresh lettuce. Let <laughs> me <laughs> mm -hmm. just kind of get that. Like chicken is really good. Yep. Yeah. I like the um. Oh, I like the double chicken at uh, Moe's. Mm. I'm be busting. If y'all want to know a secret, we kind of prefer Moe's over Chipotle. <laughs> I do. I just say Chipotle because I feel like more people recognize it instantly. Mm -hmm. But 
This. Was a Chipotle, was Chipotle a franchise before Moe's, you think? I really can't tell you. Don't give me a lie. I just know I discovered Moe's later. Right. Like, I, Moe's, like, where I live, where I'm from, I think Moe's had been there a while before Chipotle was. I think so. Now, I might be wrong about that, but I had never been. So, I didn't even know what they had. <laughs> Somebody put me on it. was like, maybe you that was talking about Moe's. Oh, yeah. Oh, honey. It might have been because you. well the reason why I got on Moe's is because in Virginia, you know, we didn't have much nearby in Elizabeth City. So when we go to Virginia, we thought it was Chipotle, Chipotle, and then somebody had told me about Moe's. I went down one time. I said I ain't playing with Chipotle no more. Mm -mm. To me it just tastes better. Mm-hmm. And sometimes Chipotle food don't be as fresh. Mm mm. And that was my problem. The Moe's that's right up the street from us, we'll be on it. Mm -hmm. Now, the other ones around here, well, I can't say about the one on Woodruff, but oh. that one is easily. This thing is trash. But the one up the street, oh, they be on it. Mm -hmm. I like Cordova too, but I just don't go there as much. I don't think we have one here. Yeah, Cordova is good. Mm -hmm. What else? It's Cordova Mose. I feel like there's another one I'm missing, but. These yeah. might be the top. Top three. I actually. Chipotle mm. don't like to be fresh for me. Mm, this chicken is fine. Mm hmm. Steak good, but that chicken. Look at that. Mm. Mm -hmm. Saucy yeah. Mm hmm. Probably got so far back. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Yeah, if I don't eat that much, I apologize because it's late. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we got behind on our activity. Yes. And I had to still come home and deliver because I polled this. Mm -mm. I did a poll. What y'all wanted to see out of three things, and y'all said this, so I was like, let me make sure I get them what they <laughs> asked for, because I don't want to be like, you know, I don't want nobody to be like, why didn't you make what you pulled, but, mm -hmm. so I, you know, well, I'm a little tired. A great job, it's good. You know, I get real sleepy, not sleepy, but when I get tired, I don't even think I'm sleepy, because I'm kind of wound up, mm -hmm. but. I just haven't had a chance to sit down. Been going and going, so. I feel like relaxing. That's all I want to do. <laughs> Yo, this guacamole recipe is not my own. It's from Aaron Sanchez. Mmm, so good and tasty. Let's look it up. Like yeah, Ron Sanchez guacamole recipe. Mm -hmm. It's so good, man. Ah. Y'all, we also didn't know there's a thing as pinto bean season. <laughs> I ain't know either. Well, I look at it, it's like a combination of like paprika, garlic, cumin, and something else. Mm. I'm sure nothing <laughs> This definitely gonna be my dinner tomorrow. Oh yeah, I can't wait. <laughs> Cannot wait. Also, for all y'all in Florida, we pray you guys are being safe with this Hurricane Ian. For sure. I saw some um, videos earlier of people like swimming out of their houses. I was like, I could not imagine like water coming up in my house like that. I know it's terrible, man. Mm -hmm. I haven't even been on the internet. I've been trying not to intentionally because. 
I already know when stuff mm. like this happens, mm. they put massive coverage, and it's like it's really terrible mm-hmm. to think about something that you worked so hard for just to, you know, in an instant, just to have it damaged or swept away. That's mm-hmm. terrible. And I know, like they were saying, that's the worst part of <clears throat> Ian mm-hmm. right now is the storm surge. So I know, like they're talking about the floodwaters are just terrible. So I'm mm-hmm. just really praying that, you know, a lot of people are safe. You know what I'm saying? Not doing anything that you don't have to. And then right. for people who just, you know, put in a bad circumstance, you know, I'm just, I'm really praying that, you know, it's mm-hmm. not really a lot of casualties or anything like that. Cause right. I grew up on the coast, so I know what hurricanes are like, but I couldn't imagine <clears throat> living in Florida like that because Mm-mm. you're basically in the ocean. I had a, I had a little bit of land. I was on the coast of the Outer Banks. I had a little bit of land, but. Either way, you're still devastated. Right. Yeah. And I um, I don't know. Maybe I have like a, I guess like a special place for people with hurricanes because I grew up like that. But I heard somebody talking at work today, and they were like, "Well, it's not supposed to be that bad here." And I'm like, "Of course, <laughs> we're inland. Like, why wouldn't it like?" You're not on the coast, and I was like, I can definitely tell that she has not lived on the coast or has not had anybody that was, you know, directly damaged by it. Good job. Mm hmm. Yeah, like, I don't know. I'm just ready. I'm just hoping that it it passes over quickly. Mm. And don't move slow because I think even after it, right right now, like it's passing over Florida, I believe. Mm -hmm. Uh, No, it's supposed to be a lot of rain and wind and stuff fall out from it, so. Mm -hmm. Now it'll be safe. Mm Mm-hmm. Be safe. For sure. I wouldn't wish bad on nobody. Mm -hmm. Even people to get on my nerves. You know, I wouldn't wish, you know, bad on nobody. That's horrible. Mm -hmm. I, as a human being, wouldn't want to have to go in th- through anything like that, so. No. Alright, Jay, so I got some, uh, some of the things that people believed when they was a child, and I want to know if you believed them when you were a child. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Did you ever believe sitting close to the TV would cause you to go blind? I did. That's what they said. And I'll be sitting right there. (laughs) Me sitting right in front of it. I didn't even look and see if this on this list, but the microwave thing. My uh, great grandma used to tell me not to stand in front of the microwave or something. I don't know if it was the radioactive waves or something. I don't know. (laughs) Meanwhile, me sitting in front of my food. I didn't learn the art of walking away until I was older. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Go do something and come back. Which, I saw a post recently that says you should not take a bath or play in water when it's storming. And then I saw a meme after talking about black grandmothers like this. I was about to say, they, (laughs) we've been, my grandma been taught We've been taught that. (laughs) I've done it. And I mean, I try not to, but sometimes. But I can't say when I um, did do it. I was in there like this. Right. I'm trying to hurry up. Get that bad quick uh-huh. on out here. <laughs> um, let me see. Did you ever believe that if you swallowed a seed, a watermelon would grow inside of you? Briefly. <laughs> Briefly. I think I was like. I ain't eat them like that. Nervous about, about it. it. <laughs> I think I was like low key nervous, and I was like. Mm-hmm. Mine might have been more of the watching the Rugrats. <laughs> right. That might mess me up, actually. Chunky Pug ass. Oh, you do chunky. You do, do chunky. <laughs> That's did, did you? Uh, the sauce is really good. Mm-hmm. Mm. Did you ever believe grasshoppers could spit acid? Who said that? Who had been saying that? I ain't never been thought nothing like that or no. been um Who 
afraid of a grasshopper. No. That was something about a praying mantis. I just didn't oh. Please don't talk about them. I saw one the other day. Where was we at? He was on top of the store. I said, oh, I got to get in here. Them and frogs, I can't do. No, something about a, pl a praying mantis. I just, they look suspect. They used to be always, when I was in second grade, they used to be always outside on the, uh, when we go on the playground, mm -hmm. they be always on the side of the building right there. Mm -hmm. I used to, used to see them all the time. I can't do it. Just went on the gas pump one day. I went to a whole nother gas station. So you know what? I don't need gas that bad. Fuck it. <laughs> Not a real. Um, did you ever believe cracking your joints would lead to arthritis? I did. Mm -hmm. Um. That's why I eventually stopped. Piece of me right now might think it might. <laughs> I eventually stop. It might not be the truth, but I think it low key is. I think so too because I, I don't think it's I gonna even, make it no better. Exactly, and I even now like I still crack my nail. I do mine off, off. not not often, but, right? Um, not as much as I used yeah, to. Yeah, I do it like every now and again if my hands be like tight. Mm -hmm. But um, I uh, I used to like. It was ritualistic. I was always mm -hmm. crack, crack, crack. And then people were saying that, and as I got older, I was like, "Well, shit." Let me stop. Let me. I think it's mostly from. I think kids just like to do it. stupid stuff yeah. like that. <laughs> I think it's from me mostly doing it so much that I feel the need to crack them. Like I don't think they need to be cracked. I think I've done it so long that I'm like, I need to crack these. They feel stiff. I'm trying to get all the lettuce out so that when I um, reheat, yeah. I ain't got no lettuce getting heat up. That's nasty. Well, I'm, gonna <laughs> I'm trying to get the lettuce off top. Cause I know I'm going to heat this bowl up tomorrow. What? Mm -hmm. That corn is really sweet too. That's good. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Did you ever believe lying made your nose grow bigger? Hell no. No, because I still did it anyway and I ain't see it getting no bigger. Well, look, let me tell you something. I was already blessed with a big nose. Mm-mm. And I was just like, whatever gonna happen? Happen. I mean, it's already big, so. Shut up. But, I tried not to lie. When I was a kid, I lied bad. I ain't gonna lie that I lied. <laughs> you. <laughs> but when I got older, I don't know. I think I want to say something. I talked to somebody. Wait, like somebody older had a talk with me. Mhm. Mm and they probably was the but I don't know. I don't know if maybe I just, you know, might have just just started to really pay attention and just just from just people in general but um somebody had to talk I, I, what I came to understand as I got a little older was your word is really all that you have sometimes mm -hmm. and so <clears throat> it don't do no good lying right. you know what I'm saying especially just lying for no reason you know what I'm saying if it happened it happened if you did it you did it mm -hmm. you know um People, yo, people being able to trust you go a long way. Right. And that's one of the, f the first things I learned at getting older and going into adulthood. So really, um, just making a habit of telling lies, I don't you know. Mm. I can't sit here and pretend that like, <laughs> depending on the situation, like, I don't like being the truth, like just to get you to leave me alone or something like that. Like. But I'm not just gonna lie. Like if mm. somebody asking me something needed the truth, I'm gonna tell you. Forget. Now, if an adult pressured you, did you fold? What? When you was lying. When I was a kid. Oh hell no. <laughs> well, my story. You was a lie because I ain't fold either. I'm not falling for nothing. That's my story. I'm sticking to did it. Did you eat that cookie? <laughs> and and did I eat that cookie? I remember one time I. Why got, would you think I ate the cookie? <laughs> I remember one time I got my cousin in trouble. Hey, because my grandma Wait a minute. My grandma told us to stop doing something. Mm -hmm. And um, I kept doing it. Something happened. Now I'm blaming it on Asia. 
I feel so bad. AJ, AJ. Because she looked at me like, like she couldn't believe. <laughs> like she was like, in shock. Let me tell you something. You wouldn't have got away with she that. She like, her soul. She was like, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. I was like, yes, you did. I was like, look, I was talking to her. Yes, you did. Oh, and so, and so, so. That's a damn shame. My grandma said, well, I, now, I'm, now I'm pair of remembering. She was like, uh, <laughs> something like, get in here. Don't go sit down. For like, so and so and so, just go sit down. I told you to stop doing it. And this is me. She was like, but I didn't do it. And my brother was looking at me like this. <laughs> he didn't tell me. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Now, me and you would have been in there bawling because I would I would have looked crazy in the face. She he was, lying. He lying. <laughs> like, I would have kept saying, he lying. She, she looked so betrayed. Yeah. Well, I would have felt betrayed too. You would have got it that day. I that, felt bad. That whooping, you would have got because I would have looked insane. I don't think she got whooping. Well, if it were me, I was getting whooped. Oh. I think she got taken easy. I'm pretty sure if it was me. <laughs> If if I would have been found out, mm -hmm. that would have been over. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I can't remember exactly exactly how that went down, but I know that I lied and got away with it. Asia mm -hmm. was so mm -hmm. upset. All right, last one. Do you ever believe that Santa was always watching? Uh, no. Baby, I haven't told this before. <laughs> Seventh grade, I went in there. I want everybody to laugh. I'm like, Santa gonna bring me, me. Girl, Santa is not real. <laughs> like I told AJ, they gonna call my mama and tell her that I told everybody Santa wasn't real. <laughs> well, he not, I'm not lying. That's <laughs> silly, right? Why well, call home for something so stupid? Now, my mom's like, I told you not to tell everybody, cause everybody is able, is supposed to be able to believe what they wanna believe. I don't give a fuck, Keisha. That's okay. A, man, yeah, grew up in a racist school district, so they probably were looking for any reason to call. Oh home. yeah, there was no need for um her to call. Also, along with that, one time, same school, um, my sister played in the band, and uh, the teacher called home and <laughs> said that she was not enthusiastic to pull out her instrument. <laughs> And I'm like, the girl play a drum. Like, what do you want her to do? <laughs> that was just silly. Like, as a parent, I'll be, are you really calling my phone to tell me she's not tell happy? Me to pull her drum out? Um, it's not like this thing is little. <laughs> but yeah. Did she pull it out? What's she doing? What's she supposed to do? Did she get it out in a timely manner? Because hmm. whether you want her to be excited about it, it's just, if she ain't excited, she ain't excited. Right. But as long as she's doing what she's supposed to do, I'm like, don't call me. Exactly. Exactly. But yeah, y'all got in trouble for telling everybody Santa won't real at eight years old. Ask me, do I regret it? No. They what? needed to know. Eight. And best believe, I didn't just tell them off my own whim. As many of us are, I was teased as a child, and I'm sure I did that. I couldn't even imagine getting that phone call. Mm hmm. I would have said. I'm um, scared. <clears throat> I told everybody. That teacher would have hated me. Because <laughs> you know what I would have said. What? But is it real? Uh, I mean, <clears throat> I did not lie. So, like, what, what am I getting mean? in trouble for? <laughs> Call me on stupid shit. I'm gonna dip this last chip and I'm done. I'm bad. I'm trying to. This tomorrow is gonna be great. Great, great. I just knew earlier I was gonna take this bowl at least halfway now. <laughs> I'm just ready to chill out. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but, um. Mm. Ooh, ooh, ooh. But, y'all, thank y'all for joining us today. We really do appreciate it. Please, 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 if you haven't already, please um, like this video. Y'all, drop a comment down below. Share it with everybody and let them know what we got going on over here because sharing is caring, so care about us, care about us. We love each and every one of y'all and we mean that thing. We do. Um,
Oop, here I go. Shout out to the crew. Shout out to you. <laughs> Y'all have a good weekend. Have a good one. Bye bye.